We have two new developments that are inching closer to being approved and breaking ground and starting in Milton. Today, I wanna to bring you just a little bit more details about those two developments, what you can expect, and just dive a little bit deeper into the exact elements within those two developments. Before we dive into the content, my name is Matt London. I'm a real estate agent here in Coastal Delaware, and I put out content each and every week discussing all things Coastal Delaware and what it's like to live here, the real estate here, and all that good stuff. So if that's something that you would like to see some more of, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. And then if you're someone that's looking to buy or sell real estate here in Coastal Delaware, that's what we help you with every single day. And we love hearing from you guys here on the channel. So if you could do me a favor, all my information is down below in the description and here on the screen. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions at all. Like I said, we love hearing from you guys here on the channel. Now let's dive back in. The first community that we're gonna discuss is a community called Scarlet Oaks. It's proposed as 163 homes on a 50 acre track. So they're gonna be pretty tightly packed in there. It's gonna be just off of Hudson Road. The current plan for that is all detached homes. There's no plan for commercial or anything like that in there. There is potential for some attached structures, which would give a variety of price points and help potentially solve some of that affordability concern with folks that you may not be able to afford a detached home at, in Milton or in the surrounding coastal Delaware area. So there are some plans for some potential attached structures, whether that's gonna be townhomes or condos is yet to be worked out. The Planning and Zoning Commission does plan to give their blessing though. Uh, so the process has started. They do have a couple more hurdles to get through before they can officially put the shovel in the ground and, and start the development of the land but they are looking like they're gonna get the green light from the county just to be able to move forward with that project, which 163 homes on 50 acres, again, that's pretty densely packed, but it will be a good option and a good location for a lot of people as Milton does continue to expand and continues to see a lot more people moving to that area that don't necessarily need to be in one of the beach towns, but they wanna be close enough to go to the beaches you know, when they see fit. So Milton has become a very popular area and this is just going to help sustain the growth of Milton and make it more of of a you know downtown and all that kind of stuff that you expect in Lewis, Rehoboth, Bethany, and those other areas. The original part of this process did get hung up a little bit as the owners of the piece of land that they're looking at had gone into litigation and some arguments over some different things, but that has since been cleared up. So now the process has been restarted and it looks like, like I said, that they are going to get the green light. So you can expect 163 homes on the 50 acre track that's right there on Hudson Road to likely go through. Uh, we'll have some more details about it down in the description so you can see the full, you know, breakdown of the article and what exactly to expect. The second project, and this one is much more significant in size, is the Granary at Draper Farms. Now this has gone back and forth a couple different times between a couple different, you know, items that were either not approved or they had to revise some things to finally get the approval and so forth and so on. But there are getting, they are getting closer and closer to approval and starting to break ground. The granary at Draper Farms is planned to be 1,350 homes on a 450 acre parcel of land just off Sand Hill Road. So it's going to be a big development. You know, anytime you have 1,300 or 1,400 homes in one development, it's going to be a big project. The plan is for it to take about 20 years to complete from first shovel in the ground till the final nail or final hammer is swung, I should say. But there are plans, like I said, for 1,350 homes on a 450 acre tract of land just off of Sand Hill Road, which is gonna bring a lot of people and businesses to the area. The plan for the community is mostly, again, the same as Scarlet Oaks, but it's gonna be mostly detached homes. The difference with Granary at Draper Farms is there's some plans for some commercial spots in there. The commercial elements that have you know, been planned are not fully developed yet. They haven't officially polished them off as to what exactly will be in there. But the one that seems to be the common element among every time they have the conversation is they would like to put a small craft brewery or small, you know, brew pub in the community as well, just to give folks a place to hang out and gather. I think there is some plans and some proposals for some other business elements, but they have not all been consistent throughout the messaging. So there may be some differences as to which businesses go in there, but I think that brew pub is kind of the flagship of what they're hoping to be able to put in there, assuming that the whole project gets approved. Of that 450 acres, 141 acres would remain as community space, open space, park space. Uh, there's a strip of land along Diamond Pond there that would remain just untouched. 
So 141 of those 450 acres would remain as green space for the community, which helps preserve a lot of that, you know, green area and grass and everything else that we all love that we hate seeing go away in some of these densely populated communities. So it's nice to see that they are saving a pretty good portion of that parcel in green space and park space. The flip side of that is that it becomes essentially a 300 acre parcel that you're putting 1,350 homes on. So those will be pretty tightly packed in there looking at like quarter acre or maybe slightly under quarter acre lots which is going to be densely packed. So if you're not somebody that wants your neighbors right next to you, this may not be the neighborhood for you, but I think it's going to be a great project once it's all said and done. As I mentioned previously, it's going to be about a 20 year project is what they're projecting and it'll be built out in 10 separate phases. So it'll be a number of different like village styles almost without throughout the different community there. The one thing that the Milton Town Council has a hang up on with the granary is that they're trying to consider if they should add or levy a special tax assessment on those residents that are buying in there. And what that would do is it would create a special tax for anybody that buys a home. You know, you have that tax on a yearly basis and that tax would then contribute to increasing the infrastructure around the community and throughout Milton. So it'll help put money back into the city to be able to, again, add more infrastructure and accommodate 1,350 more homes. That's a lot of homes with a lot of people to be able to accommodate. So that special tax would, again, go back towards the infrastructure, help make the town accept that many more residents because it would at this point, if they just built it and didn't change anything, it would add a lot of headache and a lot of traffic to the area. So it's nice to know that they are considering adding that special tax while it may not be exactly desirable for the people that are moving in there. It's nice to know that they have considered it and they would indeed, you know, put that money back into the community to increase the infrastructure and keep it up with the growing population of the area. As of this video, there has been no formal approval yet. So we are waiting to see which way they end up going. I am leaning towards the fact that they're going to approve it. It's more than likely going to happen. It's just a matter of when. And then, you know, once they start breaking ground, like I said, it'll be about 20 years for that project to be completed. So it'll be pretty extensive over the next 20 years as to how much construction is going on in there. Building them in phases is nice because once that phase is complete, the construction traffic would no longer drive through your portion of the neighborhood. It would just go towards the next phase. So it alleviates some of that construction noise and that kind of stuff directly next to you. Obviously, if you're one of the first to move into that phase, you will have it for an extended period as they finish out your phase. But at the end of the day, you know, being in a new community close to downtown Milton, which is one of the up and coming areas, is just a fantastic opportunity. So these two communities really are a great option for some folks that are looking to be close enough to the beaches that you could go there during the day, but you don't want to be right in the hustle and bustle. And you like downtown historic Milton. It's a great little downtown with restaurants, shops, and various other things. And as more people move there, it's only going to grow and there's only going to be more businesses coming to the area. So it's a great opportunity to get in before it explodes in price like everywhere else has. That's gonna do it for today's video on these two new proposed communities in Milton and what that may look like in the future, you know, down the road as these communities are likely to get approved. So if you guys are looking for more information each and every week, we would put out content for Coastal Delaware, Coastal Delaware Real Estate, and what it's like to live here. If that's something that you would like to see some more of, again, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. And then if you are someone that's looking to buy or sell real estate here in Coastal Delaware, we absolutely love hearing from and working with you guys here on the channel. So all my information is down below in the description and here on the screen. If I can help in absolutely any way, don't hesitate to reach out. I hope to see you guys next time. Peace.